Hi, Addison. <laughs> if we were to work in a factory, what kind of factory would it be? Maybe cookies? Cookies! A cookie factory? Yum. Okay, what kind of cookies? Uh, chocolate chip cookies. Okay, and then are they, um, you know, are they just regular size cookies or, you know, what are they, what shape, like, what do they look like and how big are they? They're giant cookies. Like I, giant, like... This big. Yeah, that's my kind of cookie. <laughs> okay, and then is there anything else along with the chocolate chips that are put into these cookies in this factory? Well, there's also candy cane sprinkles on them. I imagine if you're making giant cookies, this there's like a massive amount of dough, right? Like, mm -hmm. okay, like how, like how, well, actually how big would the tub be for this dough? Like the size of what? Like a bathtub. Okay, a big bathtub of dough. Okay, we find something in the dough that would, you know, normally not be there. What would we find in the dough? Um, maybe an earring? An earring? It's an earring. It's, it's very pretty. Let's say this earring actually belonged to an animal. What animal would it belong to? Maybe a deer. Why did this deer arrive at the factory? It jumped in the window. And why do you think it wanted to go inside of the cookie factory? Because he want because the deer wanted cookies. <laughs> Smart deer. <laughs> Hi, Addison! Hi! How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Are you excited to see your episode of Giselle's Mashup Adventures? Yes, very. <laughs> so am I. Well, we're going to see how it goes. We're going to put all of your words in the mashup mixer and then see what kind of adventure we go on. Okay. All right, so let's get started. Let's watch the episode. Mix and mash, away in a flash. We're going on an adventure. With me, Giselle. The magic, all the magic in the mashup mixer. Mix and mash, away in a flash. What are your three words for the mashup mixer, Addison? Cookie. Deer. And earring. Our adventure awaits. Mix and mash, and away in a flash. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> We're in a holiday cookie factory. Oh, icing! Oh, and sprinkles! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> It thinks we're cookies. <laughs> this is our stop. I'll just take a cookie for later. <laughs> hey, that cookie is as beautiful as your earring, Addison. Thanks. They're my favorite. Oh, no. I lost one of my earrings. Maybe it's still on the conveyor belt. Where does it lead? It's going... Lead the way. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. It's not just a cookie factory. It's a deer feeding snack machine. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, no. That poor deer didn't get a cookie. Aw. Hmm. I wonder what happened to it. Uh-oh. I think I know. <laughs> That's one determined deer. Come on! Good thing this cookie 
window broke our fall. We look like snowmen. Or should I say, doughmen? I'm stuck. So am I. For free. Thank you so much. I think this is yours. Turn up. Aww. Mix and match, I win in a flash. We go on an adventure. Imagine all the magic in the mash up mixer. Mix and match, I win in a flash. What did you think of that? It was fun. Do you remember your words? Do you remember that those were some of the words that you had um, brainstormed with me on our call before? Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, and was there any part that you thought was funny? When we said, oh dear. Oh yeah, oh dear. And then we see a deer, your deer that you came up with. I also liked it when, um, you know, the icing landed on us, right? And also, I, th I really like how we end up in um, the big pile of dough. Like we, we shoot down into this massive pile of dough. <laughs> I thought that was very funny. Anyway, I thought you did an excellent job. I, th I think you look adorable and I think you did an excellent job with your imagination and with your voice that you contributed to the show. So I'm very excited for everybody to see it. Are you excited for your family and friends to see it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, congratulations on your great episode. Thank you. Hi, Brandon. Hi. Okay, so I'm just gonna start asking you some questions. Let's say the two of us, we start to do some kind of activity. What kind of activity could we be doing together? We're making a spaceship so that we could fly to the moon and then we could like jump around and play like games of tag and stuff like with low gravity. Now let's say you find an animal what, and it could be any kind of animal. You could even make it up. What is this? What's it called? And what does it look like? It's like purple. It's like a triangle shape. It's like there's so much spikes coming out of it. And it only has one eye. Its mouth is very small. And it's very tall. What kind of animal is this? This is a purple spike. Spike. That's good. Let's say that this uh, purple spike was eating something. What would the purple spike be eating? It's eating a pineapple, but at first it didn't know what it was. It thought it was its own kind of animal because he saw the spikes on the pineapple. But then he realized you could open it and then he started eating it. Okay, and if you had a stuffed animal in the truck with you, what kind of animal would that be? Next to me would be a sloth and his name is Rob. And he would be saying, oh, I'm not used to this speed, but he would say it slowly. So I didn't really hear, he would be like, I'm not used to this speed. And he's like, slow down, Brandon. Hi, Brandon. Hi. Nice to see you again. You too. <laughs> Are you excited to watch your episode? Really excited. Yeah, and do you remember some of the words that we had put into the mish mashup mixer and to create your story? Yeah. Yeah, do you, you, you remember like a bunch of the words, right? And now we're going to 
put them in the mashup mixer in the episode, your episode with us together, animated. So cool, right? So cool. All right, so do you want to count down from three and we'll start the episode? Sure. Okay, so go ahead. Three, two, one. Well, here we go. Well done. What are your three words for the mashup mixer, Brandon? Spaceship. Sloth. Pineapple. Our adventure awaits. Mix and smash, and away to flash. <laughs> Whoa, we're on a spaceship. And we have a passenger. A snoozing sloth. High five, snoozer. I forgot. Sloths move super slow. Hey, what was the last word you put in the mashup mixer, Brandon? Pineapple. Of course. Then our destination is Pineapple Planet. Hang tight. Whoa. <laughs> Looks like a pineapple. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Huh? <gasps> Those pineapples look like sloths. Only they're super fast. How are they so fast? Hmm. I think I know how pineapple sloths are so fast. Try this, snoozer. <gasps> Snoozer into a super speedy sloth. <gasps> oh no. <gasps> oh no. Oh, if we don't get Snoozer out of here, he's going to destroy Pineapple Planet. I know how we could do that. Follow my lead, Giselle. All right, let's see where this goes. Hey, Snoozer, I've got your pineapple juice. Come on. Now that we're leaving, Snoozer will be slow again. Maybe not. I made a stop on the way back to the spaceship! <laughs> <laughs> Mix and mash, a way in a flash. We're going on an adventure. Imagine all the magic in the mashup mixer. Mix and mash, a way in a flash. Wasn't that awesome? <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. Uh, yeah, all based on your idea of your super slow sloth. Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so fun, right? Yes. Were you surprised by how the story went? It was so cool, like how everything was animated and it's a lot more like cooler and I got so surprised because it's already amazing just hearing it, but seeing the pictures and stuff makes it so much better. Yeah, so fun, right? To see it all come to life and to see you animated. Yeah, you look amazing. You also sound amazing. And I love that, you know, we took your sloth and then we put your sloth on a planet that's made from pineapple. That's yeah, pretty out there, right? Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and do you like pineapple juice? <laughs> well, I've never tried it. Oh, you've never I tried like it? pineapple, though. Well, you know what? Then you're just going to have to go to Pineapple Planet. <laughs> well, well done, Brandon. I really loved working with you, and I'm so excited. I know everybody's just going to love this episode because it's a lot of fun. Thank you. Yay, you. It's really crazy because it's like me and you are here, and then it's like we're in that show. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yes. High five. <laughs> the slow, slow high five.
You super sloth. High five. Good one. <laughs> Hi, Luke. Hi. <laughs> I'm just going to be picking your brain by asking you some questions um, because we're going to be writing like a funny, silly story together. Just whatever comes to your mind, really. Like maybe the first thing that comes to your mind, just go with it. And I will move you along and ask you questions as we chat. Okay? Well, I have like three favorite foods. My first favorite is pizza. My second favorite is pasta. And my third favorite is probably like burgers or hot dogs. If you were to go somewhere um, in your neighborhood, where would that be? Probably to one of my friend's house. What's your friend's name? Um, my friend's name is Logan and he doesn't live too far away from me. Let's say um, you're at Logan's house, okay? And Logan is not home. You are outside of Logan's house. If there's something outside of the house, so it could be something completely different than Logan's actual house, then what would his house look like? And then what would we do? He would have like a magical flying train that goes all the way around his house. And he has like a park in the backyard, but the slide is super big that you actually have to go and hold something. And then it takes you all the way up to the top of the slide. And then you can slide down into the water. So you slide through the water and then it takes you out of the water. And then you land in a sand pit. In a sand pit. Let's say we started digging in the sand. What would we find in the sand? diamonds and you find a couple of dinosaur bones. What? I'd be really, really excited because I've actually never seen a real dinosaur bone. Well, I have a museum, but dig one up would be like so cool. I'd so go to the museum and like show the people there that I found one. It's a match, a way in a flash. Hi, Luke. Hi. How are you? I'm really good. Good. I'm really excited. Are you excited? This is your big day. This is when you're going to see your episode of Giselle's Mashup Adventures. <laughs> I am just so excited right now. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really excited that we're going to do the big reveal of your episode where you, we've taken your ideas that we chatted about. Remember we had that funny chat and I was asking you asking you all these funny questions and then <laughs> take those ideas and then, yeah, we put them into the mashup mixer and we go on an adventure all based on your ideas. So I'm really excited to show you your episode. So you ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's watch it. What are your three words for the mashup mixer, Luke? Pizza, train, and dinosaur. Our adventure awaits. Mix and match, and away to fly. Ah! Oh! Woo! Woo! All apart. The Giselle and Luke Express. Next up, Cloud Nine. Cloud nine? Where is that? Wait, there it is, up in the sky. Uh, how are we gonna get up there? <gasps> this must be a flying train! We just need to find a launching pad. Will that big hill do the trick? Full speed ahead! Uh, I think the hill is waking up. Also, I don't think it's a hill at all. Wow! It's a dinosaur! <laughs> I wasn't expecting expecting that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Better set a new course. <laughs> Close call. Uh, it's not done playing with its food. Look! There's a cave up ahead. Our hungry friend won't be able to fit inside. Lead the way! 
At this rate, we'll never get to Cloud Nine Station. Huh? Huh? You smell pizza? Mmm. It's coming from back there. My first customers ever. Oh, welcome to my pizza stand. What can I get you? Aha! I think I know how to solve our hungry dinosaur problem. We'll take four hundred large vegetarian pizzas, please. I remember when I suggested that. So the vegetarian the pizzas. That a talking bear is making pizza? Okie dokie. Oh, no, no. <laughs> He's definitely not hungry anymore. Your plan worked, Luke. <laughs> Looks like our grateful friend wants to return the favor. Get ready for liftoff. <sighs> up, up, and away. Next stop, Cloud Nine Station. <laughs> Mix and match, a way in a flash. We go on an Whoa, that was so cool. <laughs> oh, what did you think? How did, did did you like your little your little cartoon character you? Your little animal? That was <laughs> amazing. You look great. Did you think you look great? <laughs> yeah. And you sound great. Thank you. Oh, it's such it's such a fun episode. I love it. Did you have um a favorite part of the episode? Yeah, definitely. My favorite part was probably when I asked for 400 vegetarian pizzas. Yeah. You're gonna, yeah, you'll need like 400 pizzas to fill that massive dinosaur yeah. up, right? But I love that you said that it wasn't just any kind of pizza, it was vegetarian pizza, and there it is right in the episode, right? <laughs> that is yeah. so cool. Any other surprises um, for you? Like, did you try to imagine how it's all going to come together with your words that you're actually trying to think of stories is <laughs> yeah yeah that, it's... Was, that was way better than i thought it would be like yeah fun right yeah the adventure just gets very wild but your ideas were wild thank you do you remember do you remember saying all of your ideas when we had the chat hundred percent it's a great episode and i'm so happy and thankful that we were able to work together and yeah. you took part of it and then you came up with this these great ideas for the story that's all you so yay yay you luke <laughs> <laughs> thank you oh well big congratulations thank you you too <laughs> thank you Hi, Nindia. I'm Hi. Giselle. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Giselle. I'm excited because you are going to be using your imagination to partake in the show. Yay! So I'm going to pick your brain for your imaginative ideas. And then we are going to incorporate those ideas into the different episodes. So if you could think of a place that you could visit, where would that be? Egypt, Egypt. Egypt. My dad is Egyptian. <laughs> I've been to Egypt, it's awesome. Now you could think really out of the box. You could really think of like silly, wild ideas. It might have nothing to do with Egypt, okay? It could be any activity whatsoever. Um, if you could think of an activity, what would it be? What would you well, be doing? Well, I would be at the beach looking for seashells and going swimming. Seashells? I found many ones, but I never got big ones. I'd love to find a seashell that is pink and it has a crab inside it that will be nice to me. And this shell is this big and it's shaped by like this. And what other kind of things would you see along this trail? Well, we'd see, we'd see a pond, a frozen, our frozen pond that we can go skating on. Okay, and is anybody else or any other, I don't know, what else is on the pond? What else can you see on this frozen pond? Ice. Okay. Are there any animals that you see on the pond? Another tiger eating seashells and a whale. A whale on skates, I hope. I hope it's a big pond or that whale might go, you know, cracking through that ice. 
<laughs> no, because the whale is very, very big, but the ice is very, very strong. His name can be Frosty. Frosty the whale? Yes. Does he like snow? He's a snow whale. Hi, Nandia! <laughs> it's our big day! <laughs> hey, I'm gonna see myself as a cartoon! Yes! We're gonna finally see your episode with your ideas! Your ideas that have been put into our mashup mixer! How exciting! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm very excited for you to see this episode. Thank you. Yeah, your show, and you're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> you try to envision it, you're like, oh, I wonder what it's, you know, all those ideas. How did the story come about? I pictured uh, myself and like the whale and everything. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, we go to a fun world. You've, you've taken us to on a quite the adventure. So, I think we should uh, take a look. What do you think? What are your three words for the mashup mixer, Nenzia? Well, Egypt and seashell. Our adventure awaits. Mix and mash and away in a flash. <laughs> we landed in a giant sandbox. It's not a sandbox, Giselle. I think we're in a desert in Egypt. Look. Whoa. Is that a pyramid? It sure is. Aww. We have company. A little mummy. That pyramid must be where it lives. Can you help me get home to my mommy? Taking a mummy back to his mommy? I'm in. Let's get this little guy home. Lead the way. Uh, how do we get across the river? <gasps> a submarine. That'll do the trick. <sighs> what a smooth ride. You spoke too soon. Look at all the seaweed. If we're not careful, we're gonna get stuck. Oh. oh, now what do we do? Hmm. There must be something here that can help. Oh, I found a pretty seashell. And listen, you can hear the sea. The sea is singing? <laughs> it's a whale song. Wait a minute. If we can hear a whale, maybe the whale can hear us, too. Hello? Can you hear us? We're stuck and we need some help. It heard you. It's getting closer. At least we're not stuck in the seaweed anymore. Whoa! Everyone, hang on! Enjoy that? Yes. It was cool. <laughs> That's true. It was very cool. Funny, eh? How we put those mm -hmm. words into the mixer, your words, your ideas, and then we go us go off on this journey to Egypt. <laughs> did you think, did you have a favorite part? Mm, my favorite um part was when the whale um like put 
put us up out of its blowhole and we like slid down above the pyramid. It was really funny. Yeah, isn't that funny? It's amazing how animation can make anything happen, right? So mm -hmm. we've seen your ideas, you come up with these ideas and then you put them in the mashup mixer and then wow, it all comes to life and there we are animated and then anything can happen, right? Anything's possible um, yeah. when we go on an adventure. I love that. And is there anything that surprised you that, you know, maybe that you weren't expecting um, um, from the episode? I was, um shocked when the the whale picked them up in its mouth because i thought it was like gonna go like under them and pick them up with its head and oh. put them back on land yeah but nope <laughs> <laughs> You know, hearing your voice, how's that? Did you enjoy hearing your voice? Is, is it how you expected it to sound? Um, yes, because like, is it cool? Like when you have your like character that looks like you, it's like, it's like you are the character. Yeah. You're not here anymore, you're there. Right, exactly. And, it's, and you're just completely convincing that is you. <laughs> Yeah, and you just suit your little animated self because again, it's you. <laughs> yeah. Yay! <laughs> anyway, I loved it. I love your episode. I love your ideas. And I think you did a fantastic job. And I just know that everybody is going to enjoy our adventure together. <laughs> you did a fantastic job too. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Um, hi. <laughs> hi, Sky. Is this in your home? Yes, this is. This is upstairs in my hoop room. You have a hoop room? Yeah. So do you just sit on that and swing around or do you do tricks? What do you normally do? Yeah, I can show you if you want me to. Wow, you're amazing. What? Okay, you are awesome. What do you what do you call it again? What do you call it? I, I don't even know. What do you call the sport? Like an aerial hoop. Like they use it in the circus. Because like when I grow up, I really want to go to like service away. That's fantastic. <laughs> Love it. I love it. I've seen Cirque du Soleil. That they're um, yeah. unbelievable. Okay, so I want to ask you about seasons. Do you have a favorite season? Um, I like winter because you can build snowmen yeah. and you can build sledding. My favorite color is blue, and like. Because my name is not just because my name is Sty, because when I wear it, it makes my eyes stand out because my eyes are blue. And I just love being adventurous. And now that I'm older, I can go um, skiing. Have you skied? No, my sister has and she hates it, but I really want to try it. Hi, Sky. Hi. Are you excited? Yes, I'm really excited to see my character. Yeah, to see your character and your whole episode. This whole, yeah. character, this whole episode is based on your ideas. Are you ready to watch your episode of Giselle's Mashup Adventures? Yes, I'm really excited. Okay, well, let's roll it. Mix and mash, away in a flash. We're going on an adventure. With me, Giselle. The magic, all the magic. In the mash of mixers. Woo! Mix and mash, away in a flash. What are your three words for the mashup mixer, Sky? Skis. Snowman. And hoop. Our adventure awaits. Mix and match, and away in a flash. Yeah! Nice dismount, Sky. Thanks. I've had a lot of practice. Oh. Oh. What? How to ski? Whoa! 
I've heard of downhill skiing, but uphill skiing? I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it looks like everyone's having a blast. Not everyone. Look! Aw, <gasps> that poor snowman's having a bit of a meltdown. <gasps> we need to get him up to the top of the hill, where the weather is colder. But we'll need some skis. Good plan, Sky. Lead the way! That's it. We just need to aim him towards the highest peak. And he's ready to blast off! We'll have you cold and cozy in no time. Oops. I must have hit the on switch. He's going the wrong way. We have to catch him. With what? I'm going to need to bow a hoop. <laughs> Look, there he is, up ahead. Oh, I see trouble. We have to get ahead of him. Give me an alley-oop. You got it. Need to time this just right. Uh, uh, uh. Go Sky! Nice hoop work! Here goes nothing! Uh. <laughs> How was that? What grace, what form! The judges give that performance a perfect ten! I'm just happy we could help our snowy friend out. Me too. Of course, now we have a whole new problem. What's that? How do we get down from here? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Did you enjoy your episode, Scott? Yes, it was very interesting. Do you remember how you came up with the word hoop? Yeah. Tell me about that. I'm a contortionist, so I really like hoops and going up in the sky and flying and having fun. Yeah, and you were hanging from a hoop when we chatted before, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I love that your name is Sky, by the way, and everything you do is up in the sky because you love gymnastics, right? Aerial hoops, right? <laughs> That's really neat that your name is tied into that. Yeah. <laughs> and then we used your hoop expertise in the episode, which I thought was so much fun because it's very much you, right? And what did you think about how your character looked? Did you think it looked like you? It had your... Yes. The essence of you? Yeah. Well, because I was like wearing old blue and my favorite color is blue. That's right. Yes, I believe that you even mentioned that when we had chit-chatted and we had brainstormed your ideas. And is there anything that surprised you during the episode? Yeah, when like the house. Like, I oh, think... yeah, the the mashup mixer. You mean where we put yeah. the room? Really cool. So like, it like when you open the door, like you came in and then you were in. That's how, like, we go on this adventure together, right? Your adventure. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm very glad that you were able to participate in the show. Thank you so much. Your ideas are amazing. I think this episode is going to be really well enjoyed because I think it's very fun and funny. And I really like, like, I've never went skiing, but I really want to go. Yeah, that's right. That was the other thing. You mentioned that your sister skis, right? And then you would like to go skiing. So this is like a perfect combination. Mm -hmm. And did you tell any of your friends that you have an episode of a little animated sky coming out? Yeah, I told my teacher and I told her when it's like going to come out and she's going to show my class it and we're going to watch it. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. Oh, they're going to be so proud. They're going to love it. And they're not going to be surprised because it's very you. <laughs> yeah, it's very me. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure to chat with you and to perform with you and to have you create this amazing episode. So thank you, Sky. Thank you. <laughs> have a good day. Bye. Bye. Hello. Yeah, Graham, I'm just going to ask you questions and, you know, whatever creative ideas come to mind. So let's say you could play anywhere 
in the world, where would you want to play? Well, I'm looking at my surroundings to think maybe a place that like that on the outside it looks like just trees and it looks like regular things and if you press the secret button it turns into that thing and the and the button to press there's one big red button that nobody could resist are there creatures there or people there or you know can you imagine what it would look like maybe there would be like santa claus animals and a monkey like monkeys and, I, and i'm gonna swing around and i'm gonna and i'm gonna and this could like and it could like attach to things when i throw it and i'm gonna swing from from vine to vine let's say that you and the monkey you go you go in a in a vehicle it actually could have wheels or not wheels it could be anything just really cool and wild it would be maybe like a giant banana you, you, and you could also float on it and if you press another button you could actually go under the water too. that's great what would a monkey love to see what would it, the monkey get really excited about um a giant banana <laughs> Hi, Graham. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. Are you pumped up to see your episode of Giselle's Mashup Adventures? Yes. Am I like the first kid who's seen this? Nobody has seen your episode. That is like top secret in the vault. So, Graham, I'm really pumped up to see how your words that you have created with your imagination, um, how they go into the mashup mixer and then send us on an adventure. How about you introduce your episode this is my episode of giselle's mashup adventures yes let's watch mix and mash away in a flash we're going on an adventure with me giselle imagine all the magic in the mashup mixer mix and mash away in a flash what are your three words for the mashup mixer, Graham? Button, water, and vine. Our adventure awaits. Mix and mash, and away in a flash. Whee! Whoa! 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 Look at the size of of the everything. It's like a rainforest where everything is ginormous. Or maybe we're just really small. Huh, you're right. <laughs> the plants and trees are getting droopy. Maybe they're tired? Or maybe they're just thirsty for water. You're right. We need to find some water. Lead the way. Is that what I think it is? It's a giant water sprinkler. No, that's not at all what I was thinking. But it makes more sense. I think we have to press that big blue button on the top to get the water started. Maybe we can bounce our way up on these bouncy flowers. <laughs> it's <gasps> not <gasps> working. <gasps> <gasps> Plan B! As in, maybe we can get a lift from that big honeybee. Excuse me. Oh, can you please fly us up to that big blue button? <laughs> Very sweet of you. <laughs> We're too heavy. Maybe we should have had a lighter lunch. Thanks for trying. Uh-oh. The trees are getting even more droopy. Their vines are almost touching the ground. The vines! That's it! We can't bounce up, we can't fly up, but maybe we can swing up! Yeah! <laughs> we did it! The rainforest has its rain back! I don't know about you, but I never could resist a run through a sprinkler. You in? 
Lead the way. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> Mix and match, I win in a flash. We going on an adventure. Imagine all the magic in the mashup mixer. Mix and match, I win in a flash. That's your episode. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. It's pretty cool, eh? <laughs> Seeing yourself as an animated um, character, did you enjoy that? Yes. I thought it was fantastic. I really think that you did a great job coming up with like creative ideas. And uh, it's really exciting to be in this episode with you. How did you think you sounded and looked? Did you think, you know, that your character looks like you and, well, sounds like you? Yeah. Was there anything that surprised you about the episode? The Bumblebee, it looks kind of realistic, but like animation realistic, kind of. I loved your episode and um, biggest congratulations to you. Thank you. Yay! Are we going to like, if this goes on YouTube, I'm going to watch this all the time. Oh, awesome. Yeah, and then you can show all your friends and when you get older, it'll still be there and you can watch it again and again and again, show your grandchildren. <laughs> Well, Hugo, hello. <laughs> Hi. Just gonna ask you a bunch of kind of weird questions <laughs> and then you can you just tell me any ideas that come to mind. Does that sound good? Yeah. Good. First of all, I wanted to talk to you about Halloween. Do you like Halloween? I like how we get to dress up and stuff and get lots of candy. I really like how you get the car pumpkin. What kind of faces do you make on your pumpkins? Funny, scary? This year, I want to try to make, um, well, a penguin because penguins are my favorite animal. I like the way that they slide on their tummies. That, yeah, that they slide on their tummies, you're right. So let's say that you go to a penguins Halloween party. Do you think that'd be scary decorations or fun decorations or any other kind of decorations? I think there'd be like decorations of ice cubes or fish. Then maybe one or a few of them will dress up as lionfish because lionfish are their predators. Or... I love that you said that a penguins spooky party would be with the lionfish because those are the predators. Is that what you were saying? Let's say that there's some big activity, there's some fun activity that you can do in this big field of grass. What would it be? I think like um, Mario World, I think I would also see a, a ginormous roller coaster because I really want to go on a roller coaster for once. The cars don't need to stay in lanes and just, and they could just like drive it and pass each other, then like they'll crash and stuff like that. There you are. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So it's an exciting, exciting day. <laughs> Are you excited to see your episode of Giselle's Mashup Adventures? Yeah. I'm excited too. Have you been trying to imagine what you would look like as your animated self? Yeah. Good. I'm really excited for your episode. So would you like to count backwards from three to introduce your episode? Okay, so here, count with me. Here's your episode! Mix and mash, away in a flash. We're going on an adventure. With me, Giselle! Imagine all the magic in the mash of Mixer. Mix and mash, away in a flash. What are your three words for the mashup mixer, Hugo? Penguin! And then, roller coaster. Our adventure awaits! 
Mix and match, and the way in a flash! Halloween! Like our Halloween costume, Giselle, really nice. Thanks! I'm a lionfish! And I am a cowboy! That's a weird looking pumpkin. Ooh, I think it might be a treasure map. You're right! And the treasure is a delicious looking pumpkin pie! Yum! Lead the way, partner! Do you think we're close? We must be. I can smell the pumpkin pie. Oh, there it is! We found it! We're not the only ones. Look! Uh, who is that? A penguin in a pumpkin patch? It's not a real penguin. It's just someone in a penguin costume. <gasps> Follow that penguin! It's getting away! <laughs> Giselle, look! A glowing pumpkin seed. Maybe it can help. And away she goes. It's the most punkany roller coaster ever. We're catching up. Got it. Hey there. Why did you run away? <laughs> oh. Uh huh. You're scared of lionfish. Oh, yeah. I speak penguin. Oh, you don't have to be afraid of Giselle. She's just wearing a costume. Just like you're dressed like a penguin, when really you're... Two wow. penguins! I wasn't expecting that. So, who wants pumpkin pie? Happy Halloween! Mix and match, I win in a flash. We going on an adventure. Imagine all the magic in the mashup mixer. Mix and match, I win in a flash. Ah! How did you feel about that, Hugo? I liked it a lot. I loved it a lot. Yeah, wasn't that awesome? Yeah. It's pretty cool that you have the Halloween episode, right? Yeah. Was there any part of it that you were surprised about? Anything that made you think, wow, I really wasn't expecting that? Um, I wasn't expecting the roller coaster. Right, the roller coaster. Isn't that funny? Like it just, your imagination just takes us way out there. And what about that penguin? The penguins are found cute. Yeah. I, and it's funny, right, how there end up being two penguins in the penguin costume. That's, yep, that's pretty wild. And is there any part of it, is there something that your character said that you thought was funny or a surprise? I like when I said, um, so who wants pumpkin pie? Like in an excited voice. <laughs> well, big congratulations to you, Hugo. That was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And thank you so much for partaking in Giselle's Mashup Adventures. You're welcome. And thank you for letting me. Oh, yes. I'm so excited for your episode to come out and to be shared with the world. Good chatting with you. You too. Bye. Hi, Matilla. Hi, how's it going? Good. How's it going? It's good. Thank you. It's good. I'm excited to chat with you. I'm just going to ask you a bunch of strange, random questions, and then you just say whatever comes to your mind. It's just to get, you know, your ideas flowing and stuff. Okay? Okay. Let's say that, you know, you're in this village, there's something you've never seen before in real life. What would it be? It would be French. It would be like an ocean. And then there would be a tiny island. And it's called Friendship Island. And you could go there with your friends. And it would be so much fun. Because there's like best friend things that you could do. 
Oh, like that, that sounds awesome. Let's say that um, you want to go to this island. How would you get there? How does everybody get there? What kind of transportation would you take to get there? You go with your best friend and you go on a boat, but then on the, the boat like turns into a smaller boat so that it can go on to the tiny friendship island. Is there, is it decorated in any kind of way, this boat? Yeah, there's giant garlands made, um, and instead of people, they're elves. And every time you go on the boat, you decorate one of the elves so it looks like you. And then you write your name on it so everyone knows that you went on the boat. Oh, that's nice. Let's say you were to pull down some kind of sport uniform. What kind of sport would you want to play? Baseball. Oh, that's good. Mix and mash, away in a flash. Hi, Michaela. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I know you excited too. Yes. It's your big day. We're going to watch your episode of Giselle's Mashup Adventures. Yeah. I'm so excited. And you remember our conversation that we had where we were brainstorming all of your ideas? Yeah. Do you remember any of the words that we had chatted about? Any of the ideas? Best Friend Island. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, you remember Best Friend Island. Yeah, that's a, that's a very cute concept. So. <laughs> All right, well, let's check out your episode. Let's see what words end up in the mashup mixer to take us on an adventure, okay? Okay. All right, so here we go. Here's the epi your episode, not just any episode, your episode, Michaela. <laughs> let's watch. <laughs> Mix and mash, away in a flash. We're going on an adventure. With me, Giselle. What are your three words for the mashup mixer, Michaela? Island! Elves! And baseball! Our adventure awaits! Mix and mash, and away in a flash! I wasn't expecting that! <laughs> it's like one big, floating, bouncy castle! <laughs> Sounds like we're not the only ones having fun here. Come out, friends! Welcome to Best Friend Island! Aww, cute little elves! In baseball uniforms! Now we know where that baseball came from. You saw our baseball? We need it back to play our game. Well, what comes up must come down. It must have landed here somewhere. Let's help them find it. Lead the way. Whoop. Not here. Not here either. Look, there it is, up in that tree. Quick, Giselle, give me a boost. You got it. Hey! Uh, no fair! I'm not tall enough to reach now. Sounds like we're gonna need some more help from our elf friends. <laughs> it's not working. I think I know what that look means. Are your feelings hurt? I think I know what's wrong. Do you have room for one more player on the team? Of course! You know what that means. Game on! Woo! Let's go! Play ball! Home run! All the tree wanted was to be part of the fun. Aw, they don't call it Best Friend Island for nothing. Mix and mash, away in a flash We're going on an adventure Imagine all the magic in the mash 
Beautiful, right? Yeah. Doesn't that need to see it all come to life? <laughs> yeah, that was so cool. Yeah, just seeing it all come together, your words and your right in the end, right? There's your best friend island. And um, seeing how we put all of your ideas in the machine and then it comes to life and seeing yourself animated, I think that is one of the coolest things. Yeah, that was really cool. I would think that it'd be kind of dreamy to watch yeah. an animated series and then, you know, you do voices for animation, but then you actually have your own little animated Michaela. Yeah, that was so cool. And did you think that she looked like you? Yeah, definitely. Was there anything about the way it came together that surprised you? Or, you know, was there anything that you were like, oh, I didn't envision it to turn out that way? Um, well, it like came together so fast. It was like really, really exciting. I just didn't expect my character to be, to, um, to be so cool. <laughs> yeah, she is, right? She's fun and she's adventurous and she's got a big heart, like you. <laughs> well, thank you so much for contributing all of your wonderful ideas and your voice and then being the inspiration for such an excellent, cute, adorable character. Thank you for being with us on Giselle's Mashup Adventures, Michaela. Thanks for having me. <laughs> oh, it was fun and congratulations on your episode. Thanks so much. Okay. Mash, away in a flash. Hi, Kaya and Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say that you go to an amusement park, okay? Can you think of um, some kind of fun ride that you would go on? Can you make up one or tell me about one? I'll just make up one because I haven't been on roller coasters really. You go on it. And it's like you have your own cart. Everyone has their own cart and different tracks. You can adjust the speed yourself. You're basically like fishing, except there's like magnet ma magnets. Like they're trying to do that, except only some of them have magnets. So it's like a it's a game, but it's a ride. Yeah, it's a game ride. That's cool. That should exist. I know, <laughs> right? Let's say that. Uh, you won a prize bigger than Gerald over there. What kind of massive prize would it be? Maybe a rainbow elephant. Oh, that sounds really, very colorful. Yeah. It would have like all this fancy clothes on and it would be huge. Probably the size of the piano. Now you're out in a really big field of grass. You can make build anything you want. What would you build? I would build a huge kid fort. That's awesome. What would it be like? There's rooms for everything, except the kitchen is not like a kitchen. It still has like running water, so you can like wash stuff, but it would mostly be snacks. It's a mash, away in a flash. Hi, Kaya! Hi! Do you know what big day it is? Yes, I do. It's the what? day to watch the episode of Giselle with Mashup Adventures. <laughs> yes. Yes, and your episode, not just any episode, but your episode. Have you been looking forward to it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that we had a conversation, then you were brainstorming all sorts of ideas? Yes. I remember the outfit I was in. Oh, you even remember your outfit. Yeah, what were you wearing? My leopard onesie. Yes! That's right, it was the onesie. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Yeah, and then we, we took all of your ideas and then we narrowed it down to a few of them and now we're using your ideas in your episode we created a story a really imaginative story with your ideas and it's pretty awesome so i'm yeah. very excited do you want to count down from three so that we can see your episode you want to go okay here we go three, two 
One. Yeah. Mix and mash, away in a flash. We're going on an adventure. With me, Giselle. Imagine all the magic in the mash of mixer. Mix and mash, away in a flash. What are your three words for the mashup mixer, Kaya? Magnet. Elephant. And fort. Our adventure awaits! Mix and mash, and the way of flash! <laughs> oh. Sunshine! Dance! We're at the beach! <laughs> Fun. Can we make our own sand fort? Oh, great idea, Kaya. It's looking snazzy. Whoa! Where did that snorkel come from? It's magnetic. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Everything on this beach is magnetic. Does this fort look like something to you? Oh, well, now that you mention it, it looks a lot like an elephant. I think we should name it Gerald. <gasps> it arrived! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Whoa! Gerald! Come back here! You know, I'm starting to think this is a very strange beach. Oh, no! We've created a monster! Or at least a very mischievous little elephant. We should help them rebuild their fort. Lead the way! There! All fixed! <laughs> Not again! <laughs> <gasps> what is Gerald up to now? <laughs> what a beautiful bubble! And look! It doesn't pop! A sand elephant that makes unpoppable bubbles? <laughs> this beach is full of surprises. Yeah. And we still need to help rebuild the fort. Won't Gerald just knock it down? An idea just popped into my head. <laughs> <laughs> Your plan worked, Kaya. This bubble fort can't be knocked down. And there's room for everyone. Even Gerald. <laughs> Mix and mash, away in a flash. We go on a Oh, I love that. Oh, good. I'm so glad you love it. In the mash up mixer. Mix and mash, away in a flash. With your ideas, Gerald came to life. I like the part where Gerald just bounces off of it. Yes. <laughs> yes. <Boing. laughs> Do you remember that those were your words? Yes. I remember because I said I wanted to build a huge fort. That's right, you did. I remember that too. And then I told you about Gerald, my yeah. elephant. <laughs> and then, oh, is there anything that surprised you? Yeah, anything. Unpoppable bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wish there was unpoppable bubbles in this world. That would be yeah. awesome. <laughs> Except for the part where you could trap people in them. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. dropped, like, no! And I love that there was finally a fort for Gerald to have his own fun in, right? It's very sweet. Well, you came up with some awesome ideas, and I'm just thrilled with your episode. I think it turned out to look fantastic, and you look adorable. Well, big congratulations, Kaya. That was amazing. That was amazing. And being able to watch it with you. Yeah, fun that we get to watch the big reveal together, right? Yeah. I love that too. I love that too. Well, Kaya, thank you so much for taking part in Giselle's Mashup Adventures. I'm so excited for the series, and I think everybody else will be as well. Yeah, I really love doing this. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Well, good chatting. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Mix and mash, away in a flash. Oh, there's Elliot. Are you a zebra? Yeah. So cute. I love it. My favorite animal is a fox. 
But I really like this one because my cousin gave it to me and it's pretty cool. It is very cool. So Elliot, let's say you arrive at this big field and you're going to camp there, but you don't have any camping gear. How are you going to camp there? What kind of stuff can you use to help you camp? Wait, so I don't have anything? You don't have anything, but you find in this field, you're like, wait a second, I can use that. It's not a tent, but I could use this to build some shelter. I would use superpowers to get more stuff to help my camp. There would be pigs, dogs, and foxes, and they would all go on top of each other and make a little tent for my family. Oh, that's so nice. So let's say you're, you're going, you're sliding down the hill, and then now it's turned into something else. Like it's not snow anymore. What would it turn into? Cheese. So you would slide down super quick and it would be fun. What's the first thing that you guys do together? Get chips and then uh, put them on ourselves so we can get cheese on them and then eat them. And now, you know what? Like, you hear something at a distance. You're like, wow, what is that? So what is it that you hear? A unicorn neighing. A unicorn? Yeah, so I'm going to follow it by listening to it. It's singing with its unicorn friends. Okay, and what are they singing? What's the name of the song? <laughs> um, they're doing the Macarena. Oh! <laughs> Hi, Elliot! Hi! How are you? Awesome. I bet you're awesome because you're going to see your episode of Giselle's Mashup Adventures, am I right? Yeah, I'm super excited. Oh, so am I. I'm just amazed, you know, we took all of your words, we put them in the mashup mixture, and now we get to see your episode and you come to life in an animated way. So it's very exciting. Okay, so do you want to count backwards from three? And, um, and then we'll see your episode play. Okay, so here we three, go. Yeah. Two. One, go! Mix and mash, away in a flash. We're going on an adventure. With me, Giselle! The magic, all the magic. In the mash of Mix and Mix and mash, away in a flash. What are your three words for the mash of Mixer, Elliot? Cheese! Campsite! Unicorn! Our adventure awaits! Mix and smash and away in a flash! Whoa! Whoa. Uh, ooh! We landed in a campsite! Ah, <sighs> smell that fresh air! With just a hint of cheese? It's the tent! It's made out of cheese! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. You know what my favorite part of camping is? Tell me. Better yet, I'll show you. <gasps> Look how bright the moon and stars are tonight. And it's so quiet. That sound is coming from nearby. Should we go check it out? Lead the way. <gasps> it's a unicorn! Is it just me? Or does its horn look like the moon? Hi, unicorn. I'm Elliot, and this is Giselle. I think it's calling out to the moon. Or maybe it's just lonely. We can help with that. <laughs> It's not working. Uh-oh, it's a warm night and the cheese tent is getting melty. I didn't know unicorns like cheese. <laughs> I think the cheese is powering it up somehow. It wants 
to give us a ride. I'd never say no to a unicorn. I think I know where we're going. The moon! Wow. The moon is made out of cheese. No wonder the unicorn loves it. Oh, looks like our friend was just trying to get home. I'm glad we were able to help out. Good thing the moon is made of cheese. We're gonna need a new tent. <laughs> <laughs> Mix and mash, a way in a flash. We're going on an adventure. Imagine all the magic in the mashup mixer. Mix and mash, a way in a flash. How did you feel about that? I, I thought it was super cool, and I really liked the part where we found out that the moon was cheese. Your funny words made us go on a pretty funny adventure with a tent made from cheese that a unicorn likes to eat, then it gets powered up. All very funny, all because of your words, your ideas. <laughs> and did you find anything surprised you? Uh, I... I thought that was cool that uh, the unicorn had like a, a moon, a moon. I wasn't the expecting moon horn? that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was neat too. Very funny. And how did you think of your character? Did you think that that looked like you? Were you excited to see you as an animated character? Yeah, and I think it was really cool. And uh, I've never had a character like that that's made, made of you. Right? Yeah. You've had your voice, you've used your voice as, as other characters, but this is not just your voice, but it's actually you and your ideas. You contributed to making this show happen. How cool is that? That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Elliot. Thank you for participating in the show, for contributing your ideas, and then for performing your incredible character. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>